Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Polly Esther here and this is my second YouTube channel called Polly Pops where I make videos about my hobby of collecting these Funko Pop figures you see here behind you. And well, with the province of Ontario starting to open up after that two month long stay at home order and area businesses opening, but with limited capacity, um, my family and I decided to venture down to Niagara Falls. And last year, I had been at a shop there called Freak Show Comics, only been there one time, but I was very impressed with their selection of Funko Pops. They had new products as well as old products that they either took in trade or were selling on commission. And that's actually where my family wound up going back there without me to buy my Kermit the Frog Funko Pop that they got me for Christmas last year. So I was very impressed with this store. Uh, the last time I was there a year ago, they had some figures like Nosferatu and Lily Munster, some very difficult pieces to get. So I was in uh, the market to maybe get one of those grailish pieces there. It was kind of wishful thinking that the figures like that would still be around there a year later, but who knows, because I think they have been closed like six uh, out of the last 16 months. So I uh, wasn't sure what business had been like for them during these uh, pandemic COVID-19 times. Anyway, we went down there and I found a few figures that I needed. And first of all, we were greeted by this sign on the door, which was very welcome. That is the dude, their, um, their store cat. And uh, yeah, I like the messaging on this sign. So that was pretty interesting. And then when we went in, uh, I started to shop around and I had forgotten that last year they gave me a card in which you could punch it and uh for every 10 funko pops you bought you would get one for free so the price of their average funko pop is 15 dollars, which is the, that's canadian dollars remember that's the same price they charge at eb games around here so unless it's something a little higher end your your uh, basic figure is 15 bucks so um i was i bought more than 10 figures so i got one for free so let's start with those here we got some of the Garbage Pail Kids figures. I decided I wanted to start collecting this set. I think the only one from the early wave I have is Atom Bomb. So they had a few of the early ones here. This is Beastie Boyd. And then they also had Clark Kant. That's hilarious, I love that one. These are from those old uh, Topps trading card stickers that, that came out back in the day, the Garbage Pail Kids series come to life in Funko Pop form. And finally, this one wound up being my free figure. This is number eight in the series called Leaky Lindsay. Look at all of that snot coming out of her nose. I mean, as disgusting as some of these figures are, you have to give them credit that they are really well done. So let's see here. So this was, uh, there's three waves now, and I just started to get on the bandwagon of this with the first wave. I was able to get an Atom Bomb at an EB Games that still had that around there. And there's Beastie Boyd and Clark Kent. And what is that last figure here? Oh, I need my glasses. Don't get old, folks. Not for the faint of heart. Ghastly Ashley is the one that I need from Series 1 still. So four figures in series one, four figures in series two. Oh, is that, are there only two waves? Let's see. JDK, Alligator, and Split Kit are the ones on the back of this. Maybe there's only two series and then the Bony Tony was the convention exclusive. Maybe I there's fewer figures that I, than I think out there that I need. So I think I only need um, one or two more from this. So I got Leaky Lindsay and I have either Alligator or JDK. I can't remember which one because Hot Topic wound up canceling my order on me. I can't remember which one I have and which one I don't. I have to check the Funko app and my section on the shelf with these Garbage Pail Kids. So you see here, they changed the box art here. At the top it says Garbage Pail Kids on Series 1 and then Series 2 just says GPK at the top. Anyway, so that's the three figures we got from that series there. Next, we're gonna move on to Bram Stoker's Dracula. These are movie figures here. And what should we start with here? Let's see, Prince Vlad. This one I think is the coolest of them all. That's really well done. I love this. I don't know if the camera's picking up the shades on those glasses there, but that's a really well done figure there for Prince Vlad. 
I love that one. Uh, if you watch my Chalice Collectibles video the other day, then uh, you saw the Dracula, the Count Dracula figures. This is Van Helsing. It's a nice looking figure there too. And then finally, the last one of the, from that series is Vlad the Impaler. Now there is a Funko Shop exclusive of this. this is Vlad with a helmet on. I'll probably pick that up because now we're getting near to having the complete series of these. The Count Dracula we got from Chalice Collectibles with the chase that was in the video last week. And then once we get that helmeted Vlad the Impaler, I think we're going to have all of the ones from the Bram Stoker Dracula series so far, unless they make more. Okay, now we live in hockey country here in Canada. So they do make some mascot series. They started to make uh, basketball. I'm looking forward to the Toronto Raptors mascot Funko Pop coming out shortly. They have baseball and um, hockey figures. I don't believe there are any football mascots as yet in Funko Pop form, but I can find the hockey ones. I have a few of them here. Uh, thought I had Yupi here nearby, but I don't see him. I have a few of the hockey ones. The hockey ones are much easier to come by. Baseball ones, not so much. So they had a run of these baseball ones and I, I think they're adorable. I wanna get the whole set. I have about six of them already and I got another six here. So we'll show you who those are. So the reason I, uh, I don't collect a lot of sports stuff, I don't collect people, the players of the teams, but because the players, they shuffle in and out, they get traded, they don't stay with teams very long they move from one to the next so collecting the players isn't that interesting to me unless of course it's like uh, a retired player a legend somebody like Michael Jordan Babe Ruth uh, Magic Johnson Larry Bird those kind of care um, players interest me because they pretty well stayed with one team their whole career but all of the the sports ones the modern sports ones don't really have any interest to in me however the mascots I do have a lot of interest in because the mascots are forever. Mascots don't generally get traded from one team to another, and they're adorable. So this is Orbit, the Houston Astros mascot. He's so cute. And then we have um, Mariner Moose. Now, there are some um, variations on some of these figures. Some of them got made before, like there is a Mariner Moose with a white jersey. So uh, that I don't, I don't think I'm going to go that deep into. To get uh, all of the variations of the mascots but this is number one so I guess I wonder if they're both number one the one in the white jersey and the one in the teal jersey if this is like a re-release recolor of the first one Mariner Moose from Seattle would make sense because the Everett Washington is where the um, home office is for Funko so they support a lot of the local um, Seattle sports teams in that way this is Billy the Marlin from the Florida Marlins. That's a really cool figure. I love how he's like got to be sideways in the box just to fit him in there with his swordfish-like Marlin nose. That's a cool one. And then my son loves this one. I think I'm actually going to order another one of these from Australia just so that I can give this one to, an, an extra one of this to my son because he loves this Orioles mascot. I guess just the Oriole. I don't... I guess the Orioles mascot doesn't have a name, but this one's a fairly expensive figure, so I don't know if I will be able to replace it easily. So I'm just going to order another one from Australia and then give the spare to my son. And then we have the Athletics mascot, also apparently unnamed. This is the elephant of the Oakland Athletics, Oakland A's baseball team. That's a really cool looking figure, too. I like that one. They did a great job on these mascots. And then finally, the last mascot we got is Paws the Tiger for the Detroit Tigers. And that looks really cool. Very happy to get all of these mascots. Uh, let's see who's in the line. So the Pirate Parrot, I'm probably going to order that one from Australia. White Sox mascot. Blue Jays mascot. Rangers mascot I have. Um, Theodore Roosevelt, I'm probably of the Washington Nationals. I'm probably going to order that one from Australia too. Bernie Brewer, I'm going to order from Australia. Um, who else? I, and that's, oh, Slugger for the Kansas City Royals. That's one I need to order. And the TC Bear for the Twin Twin City Bear for the Minnesota Twins, I have that one. So I guess there's 20 
figures in this series. And uh, let's see, on the back of number one, does that have some older ones like the Padres and things like that? Let's see. No. No. Oh, these don't show the older ones on the back. Hmm. I don't know who else is in the first eight. Oh, I think um, the green monster for the Boston Red Sox is one, too. But, uh, yeah, it's fun picking away at these. And they are really cool. Collect them all. I'm trying. I'm trying, Funko. It says collect them all with the with the list there on the back. That, probably not. Probably not. Go. So that's a fun little series. I never see those in stores anywhere because baseball it just simply isn't as popular as hockey in Canada. That's just the way it is. It would be like many of you in the United States trying to find all of the hockey mascots. It's going to be a tough, tough, tough challenge. So I was very happy to get those six, and then it was easy to fill up a card and get uh, the ten figures to get one free from freak show comics I had a great time there they have a lot of selection if you're ever down in the niagara falls canada side of things i would suggest you go check them out of course right now we're under capacity restrictions for stores they don't want too many people mingling about so all the stores are at 15 percent capacity limits so they can only let two people in the store at a given time because of those restrictions because they just don't want overcrowding and um spreading of the virus so hopefully things are going to get better and things will open up and it won't be as restricted in the future i forgot one last figure i did treat myself to one of the more expensive figures they have behind the counter and i spent 40 dollars on kira and Fizzgig. again that's canadian dollars from the dark crystal now this figure is from 2016 so it's five years old um, Dark Crystal, I'm a big Jim Henson, Muppet, Sesame Street fan. Anything that Jim Hen Henson touched is very interesting to me. And so I've been wanting to get some of these Dark Crystal figures for a while. Um, I have Augra from the back, and I don't have anybody else. Well, now I have Kira, obviously, but I need I need Jen, so, and uh, Chamberlain, so... We'll just pick at it bit by bit. So I was like, ah, forty dollars is a fair price. So I decided to take Kira and Fizzgig home with me. Fizzgig is so cute. I love Fizzgig. My favorite part of that movie. My son's too. Fizzgig is adorable. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss the next video. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye.